tabletop roof dormer. Reason being is, the pitch of this can't go any higher than the existing tabletop roof. So there's only two ways that it can happen. We could either reduce the span to bring that pitch lower, or keep it as wide as what we can so we can get the, the, the opening here, which is the main feature of the room, to let much light in and get the bigger windows we can, and just have the tabletop at the top. So how we work this out is first things first, I want to know how the internal hip, the fanny blade, works with the hip. So what I did is cut a piece of timber with two little dummies on it, and I slid it up and down the triple and put a straight edge across the top. So basically what I wanted to achieve was, is I want to see how that works with the ridge tile and in this corner here, so we'll get a full tile. And once we've worked that out, we should from floor up, checking the floor's level is, now the same the other side, and then we've got a pair of rafters up. But it's the position of this wall that we need to find out exactly where to go. So even though I've got these two cheeks here and I left them long, and I worked out how it's going to work with a minimum, maximum height, it's my leg detail, and the bay rod. So once I achieved that, I knew where it's going to go. Got a pair of rafters up. And once we've got that there, we could suss out what we're doing with regards to the window and the lintel. So I had my height of two meters, and I knew my 900 window, all off the rod. And what I actually did is on the pair of rafters, I bird's mouthed it, because I just wanted to squeeze it out that extra 100 mil, because it's really coming in close on the window. So I've actually pushed the lintel up into the rafters with the bird mouth but still making sure I've got enough insulation and plasterboard there. What I want to do is the curtain pole wants to go past slightly so you can keep out as much light. So so many things to think about. <sighs> got the plasterboard lines through, level through to here, to the top of the rafter. We know that it's 220 for this double. So once I level through and hit my top of the rafter, rafter take all that into consideration, cut it to take in consideration, said that twice. Put it close above the lid and take weight. I've tried lining these timbers up in between the doubles so the weight's there going against each other. So all the weight is going in. And it might be over the top, but we've done a double anyway. And the way these hips are slightly bigger, by the time it gets all insulated, and plasterboard in, I'm trying to create nice sharp points. Got to think about all the cap bands. So that was it really. Any questions, let me know. Please subscribe to the channel because it really helps the algorithms. Thanks a lot. So have a look how we've done this at the front. So the double's going through. We've done back to one at the same pitch as the roof. So when that soffit comes up, it goes straight up. And then we've done one square. That will knock in at the top. And the ra barge board rafter. This is all worked out. So when we run the face around, it's all parallel. So hopefully these videos will give a little insight of how we've done it and why, combining with somebody else's ideas. See little jack rafters there, we work to the centre point, always the centre point. So whether it's lead detail and we've got a bit of six by one going on the top or, or ply sunk for a GRP, everything's to the centre point. All parallel, got a little backing board on the end there, so we've got something to fix to. We do the face and soffit. Nice little pair of these. JC Timber Roof Specialist. All the boys done well in this. Happy of that. Nice tabletop roof here in Chigwell.